Hello everyone. Welcome to Biotechnica's new video, your ultimate bio resource. Today in this video we are going to be discussing about the importance of competitive examinations after post graduation. The field of biotechnology in India has a great role in the education. The sector can be divided into the segments of biopharmaceuticals, bioservices, bioagriculture, bioindustrial and bioinformatics. India has been ranked among the top 12 biotech destinations worldwide and third largest in the Asia Pacific region. Bio clusters in India are located at Bangalore, Mumbai, Pune, Hyderabad, Ahmedabad and Vadodara. If you study in the field of biotechnology, there are a lot of scopes for you in life. For example, you could go into contract research, medical services, bio industry, education, entrepreneurship or university research. The fields of bioscience technology has a wide diversity. Also the employment opportunities in the field of biotechnology is huge. For example, 15% of the opportunities consist of food and biomaterials production, while 46% of the opportunities consist of management and business. 12% consisting of education, communication and governmental services and 27% consisting of science and engineering. Competitive examinations are where candidates are ranked according to their grades. If the examination is open for n positions, then the first n candidates in ranks pass. But it requires a lot of time and hard work. It also requires smart thinking and great time management. The need for competitive examination is huge. It helps in many academic examinations for plethora of knowledge, knowledge-based exams, set a concise syllabus, mostly analytical and reasoning ability is tested, and syllabus ranging from all years of graduation, post-graduation, and others. And what are they testing for? Competitive exams test for knowledge, aptitude, and caliber. Now, what is the competition in the fields of biotechnology? The CSIR UGC NET examination in JRF and LS has over 60,000 candidates appearing and less than 2% clear the exam. In the GATE exam with both BT and Excel, more than 30,000 candidates appear and less than 5% of them clear the examination. Now let's do the math. A rank of 1200 in NET and a rank of 1500 in GATE is considered good. So while preparing for the examinations, who do you think will be your competitors? Is it your friends, your classmates, your seniors, your juniors, your parents or your teachers? If you want to study in the field of biotechnology, you have to join the CSIR UGC NET, which is a national eligibility test, a junior research fellowship in various fields of science and technology and medical sciences. The eligibility is for masters, graduate BTECs, BPharms, MBBS, MS or PhD and BSc honors with 55% in the graduation exam. This exam is for entrance into CSIR or UGC funded research institutes and for excelling in academic profession. The syllabus of this competitive exam is huge with around 13 chapters covering entire life sciences. The GATE or the Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering is another exam to study in the field of biotechnology. Indian Institute of Science IISC and seven Indian Institutes of Technology IITs at Bombay, Delhi, Guwahati, Kanpur, Kharagpur, Madras and Rurki jointly administer the conduct of GATE. Depending upon the norms adopted by a specific institute or department of the institute, a candidate may be admitted directly into a course based on his or her performance in GATE only or based on his or her performance in GATE and an admission test interview conducted by the department to which he or she has applied and or the candidate's academic record. A valid GATE score is essential for obtaining financial assistance during master's programs and direct doctoral programs. Some other important exams for studying in this field are TIFR, ICMR, DBT, ICAR, KACT, IFS, and NII. There are thousands of certified labs in India, such as CCMB, that is Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology in Hyderabad, CDRI, Central Drug Research Institute in Lucknow, and CIMAP, Central Institute of Medicinal and Aromatic Plants, Lucknow, as the most famous ones. 
So let's know about the rule for LS in colleges. The marks given is out of 50. It includes 15 marks for teaching experience in universities or government-aided colleges or self-financing colleges in the approved post. PhD qualifications includes 12 marks. MPhil or PhD with SLET or NET qualification includes 6 marks. Books or articles published includes 10 marks and interview includes 10 marks. The general tips for the candidates appearing for the exams are to listen to the experiences of various people in this field, to select the advice is best suited for you, set a goal, prepare and achieve the success. Nothing is impossible to do. Imagine with all your mind and believe with all your heart. Then you can achieve with all your mind. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more such videos, please subscribe to our channel and like the videos.